Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you what I'm cooking throughout my week. This is gonna be like five or six meals that I have cooked for my family. Different things throughout the week. Some are lunches, some are dinners. I hope that you all enjoy. These are all budget friendly and stuff that my family loves. I will see y'all after the video. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you are new. Okay, so for this meal, I'm doing a freezer meal. But I will tell you all how easy it is. It's one pound of ground beef, a can of um, diced tomatoes, Lipton onion soup mix, frozen uh, mixed vegetables. I'm gonna put this in my crock pot. It's been thawing in my sink. Okay. All we're gonna do is cook some um, noodles add it in with like some more liquid if I need it and then that's it eat it with some cheese you could also put potatoes it's kind of like hamburger soup I guess Okay, here is our cheap meal tonight. My husband has a game, so it's just Mom. me and the girls. Mom, what is this thing? Wow. <laughs> so I have bread, um, Pam, uh, tomato soup, cheese, croutons. So we're gonna have grilled cheese and tomato soup. Really cheap meal. Um, and it's pretty yummy and tasty because it looks really dreary outside. So I'm trying to make it feel like fall even though it's like 80 degrees still. Heavy whipping cream can make it creamy. It's a good tip. All right, guys, so there's a little hack me. to feel fancy. What? No. Okay, guys, I'm cooking a salad. That doesn't make sense. I'm making a salad. It's a popular one. I've never done it before, but um, I had a lot of this stuff already. It's the Jennifer Aniston salad. So I'm gonna make it and give y'all my opinion. I've never had it. I've seen it all over TikTok, um, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, I'm gonna use quinoa. All right, this is two cups. I love to do quinoa in the Instant Pot. It's like the easiest thing ever. I'm gonna do two cups of water. All right, and what's really cool about quinoa in the Instant Pot is that you only have to cook it for one minute. 
that's it. While that's cooking, I'm gonna show y'all what you need. You're gonna need feta cheese, red onion, cucumber, olive oil, salt and pepper, parsley, and chickpeas. Oh yeah, and pistachios. So I'm not really doing it like proportionally correct. I'm I'm kind of doubling it, I think. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you. So to make these pieces all really tiny, I'm gonna use my veggie chopper. I'm gonna let this quinoa cool and then I'll add it in because if you put it in hot then it's gonna melt the feta cheese and then it just doesn't turn out right. All this food, this is so good. This would be like a really good meal prep if you were working or at home. Okay guys, we are doing potato soup. Last night we had family over and we like painted pumpkins and stuff and we did bake potatoes. These are my leftover pump, not pumpkins, potatoes that I did not cook. So um, I'm gonna peel them all. I usually buy yellow potatoes when I'm doing potato soup so I don't have to peel them. But I don't wanna go, like let these go to waste. So we're gonna do potato soup in the crock pot and I'm gonna show you how I'm making it today. I kind of make it different every time. But I'm gonna start by peeling every single one of these. Okay, so I also have this milk. It's like milk from an actual, like, it's milk from a cow that wasn't like, like it's from a farm, which is crazy. And it expires today or tomorrow or something like that. So we're gonna put 
um, half a quart of milk in the crock pot. And I actually have one more. I, I think I'm gonna do it. We're just gonna make a ton of potato soup. And if I need to thicken it, I'll use starch. So the good thing about potato soup is that you really don't need a lot of stuff. Um, I put a lot of milk, so I'm not gonna do water with broth, but I am gonna put some chicken bouillon in there. And I don't have onion, so I'm gonna try to find like some minced onion and I'm gonna put some garlic. And pretty much that's it. And then later I will kind of mush it up and then we'll eat it with bacon bits and cheese and green onions. And that's really it. Like, you can make a whole entire thing of potato soup um, for not a lot of money. Just like buy a bag of potatoes if you have milk at home. You can make it thicker with flour or cornstarch. It's a really cheap way to feed people. And I filled this up with all of those potatoes. Don't be afraid to make it chunky. So I'm gonna let this cook on low. Hopefully it turns out I've never made it with milk from a farm, but I hope it's good. The milk was given to me, by the way. I didn't go buy it. So we're gonna try it out because I didn't want it to go to waste. Okay, I'm checking on this soup. This is what it looks like. I did, I stirred it one time today. It's just been on low. The potatoes I think are soft enough. So I feel like it's thick enough. I'm gonna add, so this is leftover from baked potatoes last night. So I'm gonna add all of this stuff in. If you take a uh, potato masher and give some of the potatoes a mash, is this bacon? Yeah. I have a little bit. No, it's soup. Uh -oh, I want to be a bean. Okay, so I had sausage left over from last night that's like already cooked sausage. So I decided to chop it up. I decided to chop it up and it looks so good and it tastes really, really good. I'm not even gonna put flour or cornstarch because it's thick enough. So, I'm so excited. It's Halloween, so I'm making chili. Um, I'm gonna try to make this out of stuff that I already have. So there's no telling what this is gonna look like, but I have two pounds of ground beef that have been thawing all day. So I'm gonna cook that first. All right, 
I have diced tomatoes, oh chili beans, and then I found these kidney beans and black beans. I'm going to put them in there and see how it goes. They're like kind of liquidy though. Like I'm gonna have to drain them, I think. I got this picture in my closet It's gathering dust right now And the edges have been folded once or twice It doesn't look the same no more Cause the sun has made it pale Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Stay tuned for some Christmas videos coming up. I know I still have not posted my camper renovation video, but I promise it's coming. Things have just been busy and I'm finishing it up this week. So I will see y'all in my next video. Stay tuned. Bye everybody. Bye everybody.